Congresswoman MTG Marjorie Taylor Greene. We're going to be talking her new book. Uh, you did something uh, a little different uh, in your endorsements. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I thought. You know, what are the what are the things that people need to read on the back of this book that that they want make them wonder what is in the pages? Uh, so we put some of the folks on the back. I've got a quote from Joe Biden that says, "Isn't she amazing?" I've got Hillary Clinton. This woman should be on a watch list, not in Congress. Uh, I've got a great, great quote from Nancy Pelosi. MTG is the cause for trauma and fear among members of Congress. Um, Liz Cheney, Whoopi Goldberg, and AOC. So I thought, you know what? Let's put them on the back of the book. I don't, I don't need anybody else to say anything more about me. That's right. Congress Roman Marjorie Greene wrote a book, which comes as a real surprise to me for the fact that I had no idea she could read, let alone write, but here we are. Now, she's very excited. She's gone out of her way to promote this book. She tweets about it all the time. She's seemingly tried to convince even liberals to read it by teasing a chapter about the insurrection she participated in. And on top of that, she takes it everywhere she goes, even to parties. And she's even tried to get on the Jimmy Kimmel show and The View in order to promote it. And shockingly, she even managed to film an entire 12 second long promotional video for it in front of a fire pit of all places and somehow resisted her fascistic urge to burn it. It. And I understand that she obviously doesn't want to burn that book because it's hers, but you'd think that muscle memory alone would be an issue, but apparently not. Now, in true Trumpian fashion, she's even lying about the crowd sizes over promotional events for this book. On December 3rd, she tweeted, wow, over 1,000 patriots showed up tonight for my book signing. And people quickly pointed out that that's not... 1,000 people. It's it's a big crowd. Don't get me wrong, but it's not 1,000 people big. But the point is she loves her books, so you can imagine the devastation she felt after learning that certain bookstores would not be carrying it. Newsweek reports, according to the Washington Examiner, Hudson Bookseller said in an email to Donald Trump Jr.'s winning team publishing of its MTG book, quote, we wish you luck with your publishing endeavors, but we will not be carrying your title. Per the publication, Hudson Booksellers explained that its selection is highly subjective and based on sales history. The company is quoted as adding, our stores are small and our shelf space is limited, so we have to make tough decisions about our title mix. Typical liberal cancel culture. They're claiming space is limited, but conservatives know what's really going on. It's a classic case of conservative persecution, and Trump Jr. was quick to point that out, arguing censorship. Hudson Books refuses to carry America First authors. They refuse to carry winning team publishing authors Judge Janine Pirro's book and Carrie Lake's book. Now they're refusing Marjorie Greene at airport bookstores. I also learned that they refuse Mark Levin Show's best-selling book. Why are they ignoring the silent majority? But wait, it gets even worse because Marjorie Green chimed in, adding, Hudson Booksellers is refusing to sell my new book, MTG, in its stores, but the groomers, Hudson Books, sells children's books that lie to innocent little children that they can change their gender. Buy my book, MTG, to read how I'd like to lock up groomers. But wait, there's even more. Another children's book, Grooming Children to Believe Gender Lies Sold by Hudson Books, shame on them. I hope people stop buying books from these groomers that use their business to sexualize children. Sick people. She concludes saying, censorship brought to you by the groomers at Hudson Booksellers. They refuse to sell my America First tell-all book, MTG. So their refusal to sell her book doesn't constitute their free exercise of speech. It's censorship, according to her. And the irony of her crying about censorship while saying that she wants to literally imprison writers and publishers for grooming books should not be lost on anyone. But the hypocrisy goes much deeper than that because Marjorie Greene co-sponsored legislation that would actually violate the First Amendment and facilitate the very censorship that she now claims to be against. I'm talking about H.R. 863, which is federal book ban legislation that would effectively outlaw LGBTQ plus books in schools by designating them as pornographic material. And as you can see, she is one of 10 Republicans to support it. And as LGBTQ Nation explains, schools are 
not distributing pornography to students and publishers are not selling porn magazines to schools to stock their libraries. The mention of sexually explicit material likely refers to books that discuss LGBTQ plus people. Many on the right refer to any discussion of LGBTQ plus people in the presence of children as the sexualization of children. The bill also dovetails with right-wing fear about pornography in schools. Many right-wing activists over the past several years have called any book that discusses sexuality at all pornography, including books that discuss non-heterosexual family structures. The language has been used to raise the stakes as conservative parents tried to get books by LGBTQ plus authors banned from school districts. And again, Marjorie Greene supports this. I'll repeat that. This proponent of book bans is now whining that her book is being censored. You can't make this shit up, folks. I'm assuming that she expected her book to sell so well that business-minded retailers would want to sell it to profit off of it, but it's not doing well. And to make matters worse, there's been so many negative reviews for her book on Amazon that they literally had to restrict reviews after realizing that her page was just being brigaded. And some of the reviews are downright fucking hilarious, and I've got to read them to you. Quote, difficult to read if you speak proper English, a mixed bag of right-wing rhetorical nonsense and attempts to hide the opinionated racist biases behind it all seems to have been ghostwritten in part by a grammatically challenged middle schooler and partially by AI. Damn, but not a good one. Tough to to read but easy to put down after just a chapter or two the the hard part is picking it back up and continuing knowing almost verbatim what is coming next and i love how 421 people found this helpful lovely another one says i was a huge supporter of mtg and voted for her two times but this book is garbage the only thing in this book that is truthful is her name <laughs> was going to buy it for family for christmas but glad i read it first and 2966 people found this review helpful another one when i heard MTG had written a book, my initial thought was it must be a coloring book, but nope. Sure enough, it's actually a book with words in it. Shazam! 3,964 people found this helpful. And finally, I couldn't get through half of the book. MTG is living in a different world than most people. You can tell it stretches the truth and imagination. And we are barely scratching the surface. The reception to her book has been so overwhelmingly negative that articles have literally been written about the tweets about her book that joke about using his toilet paper Paper. But it's not just shit posters ripping her book to shreds. There's also actual reviewers who published scathing reviews about it. For example, The Guardian's Lloyd Green writes, Venom, score settling, fiction, self-absolution, self-aggrandizement, Green's book MTG has it all. So I guess the moral of the story is you don't get to cry censorship after you use your position of power to enforce actual censorship. And furthermore, if Marjorie Green is actually a believer in God, she has to suspect that all of this has been God maybe trying to teach her a lesson, right? Maybe he's trying to inform her about the perils of book banning and how the negativity that you put into the world comes back to you. But I mean, I don't think that she's going to think that way because she's incapable of learning anything, but at least we all get a good laugh out of this at her expense, right? Vagina. <laughs> 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 <laughs>